A three-month-long investigation into a former high school track coach accused of putting a hidden camera in the girls' locker room is close to being complete. As the school year approaches, officials at Janesville Craig High School say they will be updating parents on the situation. Our Catherine Merck tells us what's developed and what should be on parents' radar. Catherine? 38-year-old Brian Kitzman was charged with capturing an intimate representation of a child and invasion of privacy of a child using surveillance devices at Craig High School. As students soon return to the school, they might also return with more answers to their unanswered questions about the investigation. We're a good majority through this. As the upcoming school year approaches at Craig High School, there are still looming questions about what happened near the end of last year after a coach was arrested for recording students in a locker room. Police say they've spent the summer examining evidence. Part of the process was, you know, going through and finding, uh, like, his property. A search warrant was conducted at the residence, and anything that would contain digital media was seized. The coach confessed to recording at least 18 people, but police aren't releasing a total number just yet. I do want to discuss that with the district attorney's office and the prosecutor before we release that number, just to make sure that uh, they're apprised of all the information. A parent of a Craig student who asked News 3 now not to be identified back in May said it was concerning to think her child or their friends could be victims. Not knowing if it was isolated to a certain few students or if my daughter could have possibly been in any of these videos changing in the locker room. It's just a privacy thing. It's very uncomfortable. The school district spokesperson said the district plans on providing an update to parents by the time the school year starts. Police say the goal is to wrap up the investigation by the new year, perhaps addressing last year's concerns. We're pretty confident that we have identified most of them at this time, though. Kitzman is no longer employed with the district. He is scheduled in court in October.